Okay, before we do much of anything, I need to... I've been seeing a couple of things on YouTube, so let's see if it's true or not. I freaking love this game. <laughs> oh my god, what a great way to introduce a character. <laughs> Don Betty, you oh bless your heart. At any rate, hello there everybody, coming over 65 here and welcome back to part number two of Freedom Planet. In the last episode, we basically started our adventure, and stupid me had a bit of a recording book issue, so it stopped right after I got done with the second level. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes after the second level. So I think what we're going to be doing now is that we're going to be going through the classic version. Because this is not a completed file. So if you guys want to look at the cutscenes, then I suggest you all look them up on YouTube. But anyway, stage two, Relic Maze. Um, the first part of this level is basically just a... um. You know, sort of a thing that you saw in Dragon Valley, kind of esque. It's just a forest with a couple of temples. It's probably the most, um. Well, actually, it's not the most confusing level in the game. That would go t to one of the one of the um, final levels in the game, but we won't get to that for a long time. I'll see you in the year 2018. Um, yeah. So I actually found a couple things out on YouTube that, um. Apparently, there is the need for a second playthrough, so, um... Canonically, there actually isn't a level separate or separated from Lila, Carol, and me in the third playable character, which we'll be meeting in this episode. Um... So, I'll have to show that off when I do the second playthrough. Which, again, that won't be for a little while, so... Eh. And this is the point where... Yeah, this is probably going to be a, um, a relatively short video compared to the other ones because I'm not focusing up on cutscenes anymore. And I'll occasionally show some bloopers at the beginnings of the video because, um, because, hey, they're bloopers. Who doesn't love bloopers? Especially me and Ryan, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I love all things. I really should be working on the cooking show. I've just been too busy with other ideas, like a brand new Sprite video, which you should totally subscribe for if you haven't already for more update, more on that, stuff like that. You should get on that. So I'm literally recording two videos at, two videos today. One's gonna be, both of them are gonna be uploaded later on, so if you are seeing this in the near future, like a few hours later future, then hey, welcome. This is currently... 10.38 where this video is being recorded and I did not need to, to hit that switch there. I need to do that. There we go. Okay, in Relic Maze especially, there's a lot of switch pressing and a lot of let's say confusing elements about it but hey, it's something. It's not my, it's not my favorite level in the game. I would actually be in part 3 because I love the third level. And, it, and I'll be showing in, um, yeah. Like I said, I'll be showing off e Easter eggs and bloopers and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe I'm not gonna be showing off everything in the game because, like I said in part one, um, this is not gonna be a completionist run. So it'll just be a casual run because if you're a completionist, well, good for you. I'm not that type unless I'm actually going for the um, the hundred percent. Like, cause. 100%ing Freedom Planet is actually very hard to do, because those cards are very cleverly hidden. It's disgusting. I did not mean to run on the wall, or ceiling. Why did I say a wall? That is not, that is obviously not a wall. That is a ceiling. 
<laughs> Come on, for the love of God. Yeah, this is a section that I'm not particularly fond of. Not because of the, um, of the dark glass, because that could easily be worked around, but just the amount of ways you have to go just so you can get to your destination. Also, bats! Yeah, having Lilac here, maybe Carol, because I did do a little bit of a play, did a small tidbit of Carol a little bit, not all the way. I mean, just to get a feel for her gameplay, too, so. And plus, that second playthrough would not be a Carol. There's two. But, yeah. It's a gym! It's a car! So, let me show you guys, um. Let me just let my gauge to fill up first. You can cheese this. Yeah, Lilac? You can totally cheese this segment. That is literally the mini boss of this level. And believe it or not, this is actually something you want to do if you want 100% the game. I freaking love it. Oh, and I'm also, um. You can go back. Not all the way, but something. Into the cavern, I guess. I'm sorry, I just love the music in Rally Base too. I just it feels like a crystal cave. Sorta of like something I would see in a Sonic game. You know what this game may have, may or may not have been. Yeah, a lot of people consider this the Sonic 4 that it, we should have got, and which I really don't see it. There's three different characters with three very different gameplay styles. I mean, the core style still there. You run, jump through levels, and then all that other stuff. But different abilities. Lilac is more speed-focused... Um, Carol is more, um, combat-focused with her wall jump and her motorcycle that defies physics. And the third playable character, which can use psychic powers to summon blocks and lasers. You know what this character is. And you only encounter her through the adventure mode, so unfortunately, since my recording goofed, we won't be able to see her. And it's a shame because she's adorable. I guess, to, I guess I'll tell you right now that her name is Mila. And she is the most adorable thing that ever happened to Freedom Planet and ever will happen to Freedom Planet. Why they changed her design to make her look more like a um, an actual like um, fighter, I have no idea. She was too adorable for the, in the first game, so... Wait, I don't know if I'm going to be picking up Freedom Planet too. Um, if it comes out on Switch, maybe. That's that's after I get Sonic Mania, though. Yeah, if anything, once I get the Switch, Sonic Mania will have its own playthrough. More than likely, it'll be a live playthrough, more than anything, but... But, yeah. And it's a strong hit. But also, um, this boss. You can get an achievement through this. Just stand on here. You can make the boss destroy itself. Stand up here. Ouch. Jump. That's literally how you get an achievement in the game. Yeah. I love Freedom Planet so much. They make a nod to all the gate, nod to pretty much everything. Oh god, this is glorious. What isn't glorious, though, is an upcoming segment. Not this segment, like, the boss fight. It's a boss fight that I'm not particularly fond of. It's, be it's not because it's difficult, it's because it's just annoying. So for this first segment of this place, you just gotta ride the platform down, push the light, and then run like hell. I did not mean to do that. 
jumping on the spikes does not kill you in one hit, so this is not Mega Man Classic, so that's good at least. And yes, I did play Classic Mega Man. It's a great series. I didn't play every game of Classic Mega Man, so eh, it's a good thing. Why am I talking about Mega Man? I'm supposed to be talking about Freedom Planet. I have no idea. It's like talking about Sp talking about Splatoon in the Mario video. It just doesn't add up. But yeah, if you're going through the plot, this character name is Spade, and he would be stealing the Kingdom Stone. So, and watch out here! Exclamation mark! Jump down there, and you will take damage. And meet today's boss fight. This praying mantis thing. It. I don't think it actually has a name. I'll have to look on the Freedom Planet wiki. So I, so I can tell you guys for part three. Yeah, the thing about this boss is that it's is that it's kind of annoying. Thankfully, they are generous with the health power-ups here, so that's good at least. And having Lilac here just makes this boss easy. It's more annoying when you're not playing with Lilac, though, because they were Dragon Boost. And just her overall multi-hit attack. I mean, I know Carol has one too, but Lilac is just better at this. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little too quiet for you guys. This is literally concentration. I think we're on the semi-final hit? Yeah, we're on the semi-final hit. Yeah, as the boss goes on, it'll get more, more ravenous with his attacks, so... Dragon boost away until you win. It's basically how hit the hit the arms and then hit the uh, hit the eyes. Um, sight sighters and the eyes. Now goodbye. Ouch! I wasn't expecting it to fall right there. I would expect it to like fall somewhere else. I guess just staying still is not a very good strategy in this fight. Hey, something. More health and a free card. I actually I actually did not mean to find that. So, there you go. You guys got a freebie. Can we end this off in style? End this off in style. Hey! No. Damn it. End it in style, please. Eh, close enough. With a dragon boost, that mantis thing is dead. And that concludes our video. Literally. Well, Lilac escapes a crumbling relic maze. And we got all bone, no brain. Yeah, that's the achievement that you get for, um... Completing the boss in the way that, well, the red boss that I did in that way. It's basically, um, yeah, standing on it, and when it tries to attack you, just jump. There you go. Free achievement from Koma Gummer. When well, anyway, that's the end of this video. So if you guys want more freedom planning, you know what to do, and all that other stuff. So um, thanks y'all for watching, and I will see you guys whenever, I guess. Later.